So uh, I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon. So our patient uh, is a 23-year-old guy who had a pretty significant trauma to the right side of his face uh, when he was around 18 or 19 years old, which made his cheekbone and the floor of his eye, they got crushed and they were you know, set further back than the normal side of his face. When he came to me, he asked if there was a way to return his face back to the way it was before without adding any scars to his face. So through using some of our new techniques of virtual surgery, 3D printing, and some novel surgical techniques, we're able to actually give him what he, what he wanted. With that, we printed out a skull, a 3D modeled skull, which I have here, and the difference, a model of what's different between the left side and the right side. So when I add this model to his skull, it actually recreates a mirror of his good side of his face. So this bone is what's missing on his bad side of his face. So what we designed, we designed to do a surgery where we harvest this bone from his pelvic area with an artery and a vein. And we keep the artery and the vein with this piece of bone that we have because that's going to make the bone heal as if it's just a normal piece of bone from your body that heals within three to six weeks. And then we sculpted it to be this exact three-dimensional shape. And we were able to, to mold the bone onto the skull. Now, the trick was not to add any scars. So we did this through an incision within the mouth. And then we had to reattach the artery in the vein to an artery in the vein that we found inside his cheek. So it took us around eight hours to complete that, but which is more or less an average time for these types of, of extensive reconstructions. His status right now, he's three weeks after the surgery, he's doing very well. His chronic pain that he's had in the past is com almost completely subsided. He doesn't have any infections, and he looks the way he looked more or less before he had the trauma. He still has some swelling, but once the swelling goes away, we shouldn't be able to tell the difference.